What is going on everybody? Welcome back to The Haunted Beard. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to talk to you about the brand new Shudder original movie that just dropped called From Black. Gave it a watch last night, got some thoughts, so let's get into this thing. So From Black stars Anna Camp as the character of Cora, and she is a recovering drug addict and is also a mother who is just saddled with immense guilt after the disappearance of her son. And one day she's presented with a bizarre offer to learn the truth about what happened and to try to set things right. And I think the strongest aspect of From Black is the performance by Anna Camp. As I said, she's this recovering drug addict and she is just racked with horrific despair and guilt over the disappearance of her son. And she does a pretty good job here. There's obviously a lot of drama and emotion that are attached to all the things that she is going through and... There's a scene earlier on in the movie where you see her at this sort of recovery support group for people who have lost loved ones, and she's given kind of this monologue where she's just really kind of just spewing her thoughts and feelings out and stuff like that, and so she's tasked to carry quite a bit of dramatic weight, and I think for the most part she does a pretty good job. And the film touches on a lot of these sort of deep, dark emotions with loss and tragedy and grief. And the reason why she's feeling guilt is because her son disappeared while she was strung out on drugs. And so obviously she feels just horrific about the entire situation and feels partially responsible for it. But then one day, the head of her support group approaches her and asks her if she would like to see her son again. And this really starts the entire narrative trajectory of the entire movie. And overall, I think From Black was just a pretty average experience. And my main issue with it was how the story itself was told and structured. And it does this thing where it starts at the end and then flashbacks to the beginning. And that is how the story is told, kind of cutting back and forth between present day and flashback as it fills in all the details. And Unfortunately, I just don't think this is a really good way to tell the story because when you start things off, you kind of already know where you're going to get to. And so all the flashback and all the backstory, it kind of just loses its impact. At least it did for me anyways. And so the film opens with a police officer who we find out is Cora's sister. She happens upon this what looks to be this crime scene and Cora is there. She gets taken into the police station and is questioned about what exactly happened and so she starts telling her story and that's what fills in the the majority of the film and so we learn right in the first few minutes she basically says you know i was told i could get him back but obviously things went wrong and so we kind of already know that going into the movie and so once she is presented with this offer from her support group uh, friend i guess they start doing this type of ritual and and all of this to me is just kind of this wasted suspense and wasted mystery because we already know really that the outcome of this isn't going to go well and so there's just not really much suspense or mystery that the film has here because again you start at the ending and it just kind of ruins the whole lead up to it. A handful of these flashback sequences are built around this ritual that Korra and this guy do. And I feel like there was kind of a missed opportunity here to really sort of get bizarre or crazy or interesting with these sort of rituals that they're doing. And, and by and large, they, they kind of just build like this sort of it's like a salt circle i think it's salt in the middle of her living room and she has to like sit in it and like repeat these words and that's for the most part that's really all there is to it there's not a whole lot of i guess horror to it up until you get to a certain point in the movie but the majority of it it just doesn't really feel super consequential there's not a whole lot there that really kind of grabbed me and it's unfortunate too because it starts off with a pretty interesting premise but the way they go about it is just not really all that interesting now if you've seen the trailer you know that what ends up happening is basically they kind of summon this type of demon sort of thing and the creature design here is pretty cool they don't show it a whole lot which is probably a good idea to be a little more reserved with how much they show it and it looks pretty cool i kind of like the voice it's sort of this kind of you know dark deep sort of whisper and stuff like that it's it's pretty creepy but like i said you don't really get to a horror element in this until kind of later on in the movie and 
I will give it some credit. There is a particular scene involving one of the rituals where I'll just say there is a sequence that is pretty effective and, and a little bit disturbing. There's a little bit of a twist later on in the movie, but nothing that's like super great or or changes things up all that much. And so once you get to the point to where all the backstory catches up to where we started the film at, there's like less than 10 minutes left in the movie. And so at that point, it's just kind of too little too late. I just was like waiting for it to catch up so we could like, you know, start the story, it seemed like, and like move stuff forward. But I just felt like all that was just really kind of this wasted suspense and wasted mystery that just wasn't really that intriguing and didn't really grab me and so overall it, it's not like a terrible experience by any means there like I said there's a couple decent parts here I think the main performance is pretty good so overall it's just it's just pretty average for me so I think my grade for this I'm just going to go right down the middle I'm going to give From Black a 5 out of 10 so those are my thoughts hit me up down below though let me know if you've seen it what your thoughts were I'd love to hear from you and that's all I got for you today like always hit that subscribe button if you like videos like this it's all horror and thriller movie content on the haunted beard and i'll see you next time on the haunted beard